Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals and today we are having a look at Glitch Tones Serum and Cthulhu Industry Standard Ambient and Pad Preset Collection. That is a mouthful. <laughs> um, which is split into four different presets. Um, today we're going to be looking at the serum ones because I do not own Cthulhu. But I can say that there are 92 uh, Cthulhu presets and a selection of loops, uh, one shots and MIDI. To help sort of produce um, what they're going for which is more like chilled atmospheric uh, cinematic tracks. Um, so we have a selection of presets we're going to have a look at today uh, including wavetables and also some noises um, for Serum. Uh, revolving around ambient mode uh, for Serum and Cthulhu, uh, dark ambient for Serum and Cthulhu, outer ambience and also swathes. Um, so we're going to dive into those in a second, um, but if you're interested in any deals like this um, currently on offer right now, a very reduced price, um, then feel free to hit the notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss out. So let's have a little look now. So first we're going to have a look at the ambient mode, which is built into bases, drones, pads, synth and textures. And there's about 60 of these uh, split up into these categories. And I guess it would probably give you kind of a more cinematic chill wave kind of sound. Um, there's quite a variety of things. Um, so if we have a look up here, good selection. I'll split up here. I only just discovered this uh, layout, which I find a lot more easy than having to go in individually and then pick like that. So I literally just clicked that part there. I'm still learning a lot about Serum, to be honest. It's quite new for me, but I am finding it to be a very kind of malleable and pretty awesome uh, synth to play around with. Very powerful. Does love to eat up your CPU, but it's great. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll have a little listen to some of these. So first of all, um, I did like this bass, which is the first one, <laughs> or called Basement, so it's quite nice deep sound to it. Yeah, so. Made up of uh, an oscillator filter. It's got a good sound to it. Um, have a little on the look at the plucker. It can be a little bit quiet sometimes. Oh, turn it up. Hopefully I'm not going to deafen you. A couple of bases. This one's a bit darker. It's called Dark It, which kind of gives the indication. We we'll play around with the attack a little bit. Maybe the release. Turn that right up. Another good sound to there. I want to have a couple of drones here. It's a nice big thick sound. <laughs> I like it was called Doom because it really does sound like Doom. Um, I think the Richter one was the one I liked. A bit of pulse to it. So you can see what it's up to there as well. So one more drone seasons one. Let's try a different key. really 
thick sounding drone. Um, <laughs> I love how this one's called Board of Canada because clearly um, I was reading this this entire like uh, pack was based around uh, bands like Boards of Canada. <laughs> In case you haven't heard of them, they are an ambient band and they are fantastic. And top tip, you can never have enough pads, okay? <laughs> never. <laughs> to sample way too low so I like to sort of go up a little bit and kind of see what it sounds like further up too. Lovely. Obviously Dreamscape. I'm predicting will sound quite big. Definitely kind of an, an evolving pad there. carried away trying these out to be honest. <laughs> one more pad and then we must move on. <laughs> I think this is another one I quite liked, it was another stutter one. Oh man, gotta love that. It's fantastic, I love this. <laughs> I find it very fascinating to see exactly how all these are made up. Um, I love it. I think it's great. I don't know if you guys are always game to kind of look behind the scenes and see how things are kind of made up. I mean, as recently I've actually learned about kind of how synths are kind of built up with all sort of oscillators and stuff. It's very fascinating. As a musician, you never stop learning and I love that. If I ever run out of things to learn, I don't know, I think I'll be very sad. <laughs> Um, okay, so synths. Double. I've not actually tried the synths yet. I had to play around with the pads, but... Nice and short, I like that. Nice wee burst. Hang on. Where's the quantize? <laughs> quantize always saves me when I try and do riffs like that. Um, <laughs> haunted chimes. I mean, come on, it's Halloween, so. It doesn't sound that haunted, but I think if we make it really scary, like maybe minor chords. scarier now, a little bit kind of like creepier if you kind of make it more minor. <laughs> Maxima. This is a legato, yeah. tell it's going to be a very long video because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> we have a lot more to get through so stay with me. <laughs> okay so on to dark ambient now. Okay I just scroll down somewhat here. I probably cut this. <laughs> okay dark ambient so we got pads, no sorry bass. Um, so apparently these guys were kind of going towards more like some game stuff too so they were kind of sort of inspired by Fallout and Silent Hill kind of soundtracks. So I think this is, well, as the name suggests, darker. 
Um, so, I don't know, Thor? Have I listened to Thor? With some reverb behind that, that would sound really good, I think. Or be like layered with something else. Probably in like a really thick pad, maybe. Okay, what else we got? We got chiller. Oh, we're on to boops, that's a pad. <laughs> Ignore me. Delayed. I mean, I'm hoping this has delay. It does. we got more bass darkness falls I mean that sounds very encouraging <laughs> bit of a thicker sound to that one get the idea anyway pads cave pad I really do enjoy the slow attack on some of these, like, it's just very kind of like, smooth transition, I love it. Um, this one I think is also based on a band. watching that too. <laughs> um, what else we got? Droner? There it is. Now this one also has uh, 47 custom wavetables and like, 7 custom noises, so these guys. Um, another quick look at a couple of things. We have plucks this time. Getting Minecraft vibes. Oof, they just keep getting better. Really gotta hurry up, I'm taking forever to go through all these. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Since. Lovely. Okay. Lo fi lead? Always good. <laughs> totally see that in synth wave or something. Also lo fi. Uh, textures. No, do we want scream, mono, electrical storm? Electrical storm? <laughs> I 
feel like they're all going to have quite a staticky sound to them. Um, oh, there we go. I am trying to show you guys how they are all made up rather than just the noises. Um, okay, so that's really kind of touching on the dark ambient. So next we'll have, well before we go on to that, we'll have a look at the, the wavetables and noises that come with this one. So if we go on back um, and just quickly reset all this. So we'll go ahead and pick one from the user, dark ambient. So you can see here, quite a few to pick from here. We have 47. Um, so let's go for, which one do we want? Open space B. <laughs> So you can either maybe even pair them together if you want to. Um, don't know how this is going to sound. Kind of blend them together. Um, so yeah, quite a lot there to pick from. Another thing we can have a look at very quickly is the noises. So again, you can see here with that dark ambient noises we've got a few to choose from. War phone. Meditation bell. The noises there. move on to the outer ambience uh, which is here. Uh, as you can see there are 50 serum presets and um, we also have three noise samples and 86 custom wavetables. So let's just pick anyone here. So spectrum and a chill sound to that. Lovely. As the name suggests, quite ambient. <laughs> Seclude. Let's have a look at that. Another nice pad. Motion. Quite nice as well. Uh, one more, we rush. Oops. Um, it's a very, very, very quick look to show you. We have, again, the outer ambience tables. Oops. So all of these guys here, quick listen. Um, lots to kind of build up together. Like so. And they're all in under user and then under these two. Uh, noise wise, very quickly reset that again. Um, I only have a few here this time, but we got these guys here. So we've got portal. Quite like that. Um, 
source. And finally, Fonder. Quite nice. So it's 50 serum presets, 87 custom wavetables, and three little noise samples there to play with. And finally, onto the swathes, which are here. Again, more pads, which again, you cannot have too many of. <laughs> uh, we'll start with Cloudy. Let's have a quick listen to this one. Uh, see, that is stunning. One more. We'll go with Dusk. Quite nice. So, uh, Swedes is 50 presets which are predominantly based around pads, definitely. Uh, lots to play with um, over all of these. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my little kind of tour of what I've learned so far with these. And I've, really there's a lot of versatility, there's a lot to play with, a lot to kind of muck around with. I mean, Serum itself is just amazing to muck around with anyway, but um, these presets definitely give you something to kind of base your new sounds on, so... Uh, highly recommend and I hope you've had fun listening to my ramblings and mucking about with these and now you have a better idea of what they sound like. So yeah, I've been me, you've been you, so enjoy the rest of your day slash evening slash morning slash afternoon. <laughs> uh, bye for now.